What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon, the trading card game in the last episode. We obtained our first medal, we defeated the Grass Club Master, Nikki. Yes, that was her name. And in this episode, well, we're gonna redeem ourselves because we got destroyed by Amanda of the Water Club. And hopefully, if we have time, we will make it all the way to getting the Water Medal in this episode. But regardless, let's do so by first hopping into this battle again with Amanda. Again, we gotta redeem ourselves, and I would like to say that before we got, hop into this match, um, I did battle Aaron once more. I replaced the four fighting energies with two lightning energies and two grass energies. So, yeah, that's just kind of what it is. Um, and let's see here. We'll have a ooh, we have a Scyther in back. We can start boosting up. But regardless, we have our Pikachu in place, which should be super effective against most of anything Amanda brings. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's start off by throwing a Lightning Energy on our Pikachu, and we can go for a nice Gnaw. I want to... Hmm. That's right. Plus power adds on after effectiveness. So, I don't think there's any points in adding a plus power, at least just yet. It only does 10 damage. I don't get that. Why is Gnaw super effective against some Mons and... Or some Water-type Pokemon and not against others? It just doesn't make sense sometimes. Regardless... Is Amanda going to do anything? Oh, and I figured out what the Clefairy doll does. Um, it just acts on the bench. It has 0 HP, or it has like 10 HP. And it's just a place marker on the bench. So that you have something there, worst case scenario. I don't understand 100% why. But, uh... Or, like, why it really warrants a place in someone's deck. But it is what it is. Why not just have another basic Pokemon rather than a Clefairy doll? But... Okay. Is there anything else we can really... I'm gonna throw a Psychic on this, um, actually, do I want to just go for the Thunder Jolt? Yeah, I want to do that rather than start boosting up Scyther, I just want to go for the Thunder Jolt, knock this thing out, and then potentially whatever comes in afterwards too. And we end up doing damage to ourselves, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal given I don't think anything on her bench has enough energies to really do a lot. And we got a Raichu! Nice. So we could potentially even evolve next turn and throw another energy on this, and we'll start doing agilities, which are pretty OP. This is only going to do 10 damage, and this this could be another really fast match. Just like Brittany, we uh, we end up losing, and then we come back and just clean sweep with one Pokemon. Regardless, let's throw a lightning energy on Pikachu. Let's use Raichu on Pikachu, and let's use a potion on Raichu. Now we are Raichu near full. And we can start going for some agilities. If heads, we have a 50% chance. We're not going to take any damage or any secondary effect next turn. How ridiculously strong is that? That's arguably broken. But I'll take it. I'll take it. So the Mysterious Fossil also takes place on the bench, which is interesting. Aw, she healed up. That's unfortunate, but... Either way, we now have a double colorless energy. We can throw that on Scyther. So that thing's almost ready to start slashing away. This is looking really good, guys. This is looking really good. And we got heads yet again, so we're not taking any damage next turn. <laughs> I feel like this is just going to be just like Brittany. Is this going to happen every single uh, gym or every single club? We're just going to lose to one of the trainers and then come back the next episode and clean sweep one of them? Oh man, too funny. Anyways, we'll throw this grass on Scyther so that we can now Swords Dance and we can do Slash. So we are we are looking really good to sweep with either Raichu or Scyther. And I still don't understand why Agility and stuff aren't super effective against this Poliwag. Okay, we'll throw Nidoran on the bench. And... We'll give it a Lightning Energy. Yeah, I think that's what makes the most sense. We could give it to, uh, we could have given it to Raichu for Thunder, actually, in retrospect. And that would have been a really cool way to finish off the match next turn, but... But alas, we did not. We're immune next turn anyways, so should be fine. There's our second prize, and we got another Lightning Energy, so we can potentially finish off... Oh, yo, we're gonna finish this off in style. We're gonna finish this off in style, guys. Let's play this Lightning Energy, and here we go. We're gonna attack with a nice Thunder. If Tails, we take damage, but I don't care. A clean thunder to finish off Amanda. Amanda, take that! That's what you get for beating us in the last episode. Who do you think you are? Wait, what? What? I thought we just won. I thought we just won. Does this not count as a something that I can take a prize card with? I'm so confused. 
Okay, then. I guess we'll attack with... No, we're attacking with Thunder. We're finishing this off with Thunder. Aw, oh, we took damage ourselves, but... It took 60 damage. That's knocked out, too. And... Now it's the Clefairy Doll's turn. So just buying time for more basic Pokemon? Okay. Okay. Um, we'll throw this on Nidorina, and then we'll... Again, we're gonna finish you off with Thunder! Take that, Amanda! Who do you think you are? This Raichu, clean sweep. So we won. Nice. That's a that's a great start to the episode. I'm I'm really happy with that. Oops, I lost. Now I'm in trouble. So we got a mystery pack. What do we see? Lapras. Lapras is so good. It's so good. It's got 80 HP. It can confuse and it gets water gun. It's it's so good, guys. You'll you'll see. Jolteon, right arm. Rhydon is also really good. Look at that, 100 HP. Horn Attack in Ram, doing so much damage. Nid Arena, Energy Removal. We got some good cards. Got some good cards in that pack, for sure. What's in this one? Articuno. Oh, guys, we got Articuno! I didn't know Freeze Dry existed this early. Holy cow. Articuno, so cool. Dratini. Oh, I love Dr Dratini. is so cute. So cute. Like Tong, Voltor, Mankey, Pikachu. Wow. Some really cool packs. Losing kind of destroys the atmosphere of the place. Yeah. Yeah, losing does kind of suck. But regardless, let's move on to the next trainer, Sarah. It feels so good to swim in the pool. Do you want to take a swim? Or would you rather duel? Of course. I mean, actually, actually, I don't know if this is as of course as the last uh, club where they were like, oh, do you want to like take care of the plants? I'd much rather swim. But right now, I'm in a dueling mode. There will be two prizes. Oh, so this is going to be a quick match. Waterfront Pokemon deck. So I imagine Oddishes, maybe, Poliwags, Slowbro, or Slowpoke, maybe, Jigglypuff, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we've got a Nidoran and we have Nidorina. We've got some Grass Energy. This is looking pretty clean from the start. That said, I, w I mean, I do want a little bit more, uh, or at least one more basic Pokemon to have on my bench just in case, but we should be pretty good to start off. Oh, Farfetch'd! Oh, I wonder if that's going to resist or not. Hmm. Well, let's do a Grass Energy on Nidoran anyways, and we can attack with Fury Swipes and see how much it does. I don't like the inconsistency, but man, this Nidorina with just one energy card can do up to 30 damage. That's actually like a really good deal. And it's not resisted too. Cool. And Farfetch. Oh, that's right. Farfetch can only do 30 damage once, and then it's useless. Yeah, Leak Slap. It's just going to do 30 damage, potentially, and there's the 30 damage, and now we don't need to worry about this at all. We can boost up, we can evolve into Nidorina. I do want to attach a couple more energy cards to Nidorina before we do so, though. Let's see, because with Nidorina, Supersonic, and Double Kick, yeah. We don't exactly want to do that just yet, so we're going to attack now. I, if I really wanted to play it safe, I could intentionally not attack this turn, knowing that I have a free turn to essentially evolve. Whereas if I were to knock out Farfetch and she went into something that could do 30 damage, I would die. But I don't really think that's the case, and that just might be delaying the battle or delaying the outcome that much more, so. Regardless, now we have another Nidoran. Cool. So we'll play that, and we can, I don't know, give a lightning energy to that Nidoran and evolve. Now we got plenty of HP and we can do double kick, which does so much more damage. I mean, of course, that's if you get heads. <laughs> but it has double the potential um, for damage, so that's pretty cool. We get our first prize card. There's only one left. We've just got to knock out this Dratini, and we definitely can. We definitely can. It's only doing 10 damage with Pound. Not a big deal. If we get two heads here, if we get two heads here, that could be that could be it. We're going to give this Grass Energy to the other Nidoran, though, so it can use Fury Swipes if it comes down to it. All right, let's get two heads. Great start. All right, okay. So we just need to do at least 10 damage to this thing. Whether it's between, whether it's, you know, the other Nidoran we have on the bench or this Nidorina, I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine. Clean. We got Pikachu, even better. This is reliable damage. I'm gonna give this to that just in case we end up getting two tails in a row multiple times, which is of course highly unlikely, but there we go. Nidorina is gonna clean up this match. And that was a really quick duel against Sarah. That was a really quick duel against Sarah. GG no re, Sarah. GG no re. Except maybe re if I need more of the particular type of booster pack you give me. Uh-oh, I guess I lost. Maybe I shouldn't have been swimming so much. 
Oh, nice. We got a Coliseum pack. What do we got inside? Chansey. Ooh, look at 120 HP. What does Scrunch do? Flip a coin of heads, prevents all damage done to Chansey during your opponent's next turn. Holy cow. This thing... Chansey does 80 damage to itself. What? Double edge. Holy cow, that's strange, but... Dugong, Magikarp, Nidorino, Machop, Abra, Pikachu... Oh, we got another Charmander. I love that card. <laughs> I've said that... I'm pretty sure I say that, like, every single time I see it, but... Gyarados, yes! Um, Staryu... Okay, nothing too crazy here. Except to practice more to improve my Pokemon card game. That is true! If you don't practice, you won't get better. The person resting over there is Amy, the club master. If you wish to duel Amy... Hmm, if you seek Amy... <laughs> Shout out to Britney Spears. Go defeat Sarah and Amanda first. Then I will test your skill. And if by chance you should win, I will introduce you to Amy, the club master. What, you defeated Sarah and Amanda? You must be pretty good if you defeated Sarah and Amanda. As promised, I'll test your skills. If you win, I will introduce you to Amy. Ooh, would you like to duel Joshua? Yeah, Joshua, bring it on. This will be a one match duel with four prizes. All right, Joshua, Sound of the Waves deck. Interesting. Sound of the Waves. I wonder whose job it was to come up with the names of these decks. It's like, you know, I'm feeling there's a... Uh, this is more of like a Sound of the Waves deck. Oh, we don't have any basic Pokemon. So we gotta redraw. That's fine, though. That's just fine and dandy. Alright. Oh, we start off with all these energies. Nice. I'm gonna start off with... We need a Psychic for Abra anyway, so I'm going to start off with Magnemite, especially given we can Thunder Wave, and it should be... Oh wait, I'm, I can just do that my first turn anyways. I'm not going to get knocked out in one turn. There's no way. Aw, oh, we don't even go first. Sad face. Starts off with Shelter. Ooh, we should be able to do quite a bit to this. Oh, so this could... If it's Heads, and it's not, okay. Otherwise, it would be completely immune the next turn. Pretty much to bide time, I'd imagine, to evolve into Cloyster, but regardless, we're going to give a Lightning Energy to our Magnemite, and we are going to throw Abra on the bench, and Thunder Wave away. You can potentially paralyze this, and paralyzing is so strong this game. Is it going to be super effective? Yes, it is! So now this Electric-type attack and Pokemon are super effective against this Water-type Pokemon. I don't get it sometimes. I don't get it, but... Oh well. And there it is, the Cloyster. Now this thing is probably going to be start doing damage. Clamp! 30 damage? 30 damage? And a chance to paralyze? Are you kidding me? So we're paralyzed and we took 30 damage. Oh, that sucks. That might be GG. That might just be the whole game. Because we can't even attack. Alright, well. That is what it is. We're going to die next turn and we better hope we get a better Pokemon. We need a better Pokemon, another, well, better b basic Pokemon, or a Psychic to potentially paralyze this Cloyster. Otherwise, otherwise that's going to be GG, and that's going to be a real quick match, Joshua. Alright, we have a Potion. Oh, wait, the, the attack didn't even work. Oh, so it's only a 50% chance to work each turn. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use the potion so that I live whatever hit attacks or gets me next and then I'm going to use a plus power so that after the super effectiveness gets taken into account we'll actually KO this cloister and if not and I somehow calculate this incorrectly it will have paralyzed it too but regardless the cloister is dead nice and we got a psychic energy one of the very few psychic energies to help out Abra so that's pretty cool now Lapras this thing's a monster oh no it took away our electric energy our lightning energy. Oh, this is gonna knock us out. This is gonna knock us out. Oh, Lapras is so strong. It's so strong. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. If it attaches another water energy to... Yeah, if it throws another water energy on Lapras, it'll knock us out with Water Gun. So we need to paralyze here. We, like, need to paralyze here. Yes! That'll buy us another turn to potentially get another basic Pokemon to throw on our bench. That Lapras card looks really cool too, but... Yeah, he's probably gonna throw another Water Energy on Lapras. Yep, there it is. So this thing is gonna kill us the next time it gets the chance to attack. So, we better hope we get a basic card. Yes, we got a Magnemite. Okay, cool. And then we can throw a Lightning Energy on that Magnemite. 
And Bullock just keeps Psy shocking away. And we paralyze again, nice. This is why paralysis is so good. We're just weakening this thing so that we, our Magnemite can potentially 2-hit KO it with the super effective Thunder Wave that potentially paralyzes as well. And we're just buying chances to potentially evolve our Pokemon, but we, have, we just have so many energies now. We need Pokemon. Guys, we need Pokemon. Oh, we don't paralyze, so that's going to be the end of Abra. That is going to be the end of Abra. And just outside of 2-hit KO range from Magnemite, so we're going to need a Paralysis. We're gonna need a paralysis from our Magnemite if we want to uh, if we want to stay alive in this match. Because otherwise, we're just gonna run out of basic Pokemon on the bench, and that'll be a definite GG. Regardless of whether or not Joshua manages to get all of the ah, uh... oh, we got to eradicate. No. Okay, here's what it comes down to, guys. We gotta get a paralysis. We don't get a paralysis, and that. Might just be the whole game. Oh wait, no, we live one more hit. We live one more hit. We need one paralysis. We need- Oh, no! He got a plus power! That's gonna be the whole game! And that... That is gonna be the whole game. Oh, man. Alright, well, like I said, there's very much RNG in this game. Maybe I could have stuffed my deck with more basic Pokémon? But, oh well. Um, let's just try battling again. We had a decent start, except we just, uh, oh, it's, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean that. It was just, the prompt was already on no. I'm sorry. But, no, we just ended up getting so many energy cards that weren't relevant to the Pokemon we had, so. And there's only so much you can do there. Especially when you don't get the paralysis with, uh, with Magnemite. And he had the plus power. He had the plus power just chilling in back. Let's see, let's start off with... Again, we don't really have any um, any more basic Pokemon, which is scary. Definitely scary, but we do have Fury Cutter, which is nice. And of course, Joshua gets to go first. Not helping. Given that, this thing will do Headbutt for 10 damage. That's not too scary, at the very least. Um, we'll at least live like 4 or 5 more turns to potentially get some more... What's it called? Basic Pokemon going. We get another. Oh come on, come on, do some damage. Okay, okay, at least we did some damage. If we get another Grass Energy, we can actually look through our deck and call the other Nidoran, which is actually really neat because we do need more basic Pokemon for sure. Oh no, Lapras in the back is just getting powered up. Lapras in the back is getting powered up. I don't like that one bit. Got another Grass Energy, which is cool. I'm gonna use the Potion on Nidoran for the time being. And throw another Grass Energy on it. Um, for the time being, I think it's better to just go for Fury Swipes rather than waste this turn going for the Call for Family when we don't really even need to just yet. Still only doing 10 damage. I mean, on average, we'll be doing around 20 damage, so... It is what it is, but that Lapras in the back, it now has two Water Energies attached to it, so it's doing 20 damage with that Water Gun. It hasn't even taken any damage yet. Magneton might be our key to victory here. That might be our key to victory. It'll be doing like 60 or 60 damage Thunder Waves with potential Paralysis, but uh, we need to kind of build that up before it gets it so that it can take on Lapras potentially. Lapras's Water Gun though, despite however many water type uh, energy it has, it can't be more powerful than 30. Man, the when I was playing this a little bit ago, I had difficulty with Joshua as well, so... I wonder if plus power would be on each roll. Probably not. I, okay, so I think now... Given that he can retreat at any time and probably KO me, I think now is the time to go for Call for Family. Choose a Nidoran. Let's see here. So we have Nidoqueen, which is nice. We know that that's not a prize card. Man, we don't... We must have a lot of our basic cards as prize cards. Because I didn't see a lot of our Pokemon in there. This is just going to keep going for a headbutt. We could potentially knock it out next turn, of course. We've been getting pretty bad luck with the Fury Swipes things. Yes, Magnemite! This is the key, guys! This is our chance! We finally have a chance! We can potentially get a Magneton. Look at all these Lightning Energies we have. Oh, well, all two of them. But, you know. 
And we can potentially get a Magneton. We can Thunder Wave our way to victory. Oh, come on. Still only doing 10 damage? Come on, Nidoran. You gotta do a little bit better than that. He's probably packing a plus power. Oh, no. He's only got two cards in his hand. So we live this next turn for sure. And we can potentially KO it the next turn, which would be really helpful. I want to give another Lightning Energy to Magnemite. And let's see. Magneton, check. Yeah, it just needs... Okay, yeah. Magneton, we are going to evolve this Magnemite. Yes, and that is all ready to go now. Is there anything else we need? No, I'm going to keep the save the plus power for Magneton, potentially. Let's just attack with Fury Swift. Wait, I didn't have a potion, did I? No. Okay. We could potentially knock this out. Come on, Nidoran, this is the time. Please, heads, heads, heads. One more. Come on. Come on, Nidoran. Yes. All right, we're going to knock out this seal. Why is this really helpful? This means that our Magneton won't have to take another hit. So basically, if we don't kill Seal, Seal kills us next turn, then we come in and we kill Seal, and then whatever comes in after Seal hits Magneton once before we even get the chance to hit it. But now, whatever comes in, this monstrous Lapras comes in and kills Nidoran, and then we get the first hit off on this Lapras with our Magneton, which is really important, so. I'm glad that we were actually able to get off the damage on that Seal. Anyways. Man, Joshua, Joshua putting up quite the fight. All right, let's go, Magneton. Let's go. We got the potion. This is this is it. This is the moment. I want to see real quick. Yeah, there's no reason to throw any more lightning energies on it. So I'm going to throw grass energy on that. I probably should have used the psychic, but regardless, we are going to thunder wave. Paralyze, paralyze. Darn it, we didn't get paralyzed. Or we didn't paralyze it. So we're going to end up taking 30, potentially 40 damage next turn. By the way, for those that might think I should have used the plus power, it would only add 10 damage after considering the super effectiveness, so it would have been a 2 a KO regardless. So we're going to take 30 damage here, which is, you know, less than ideal, of course. But I can use a potion to potentially live anything. And, uh, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, there's no reason to attach energy to anything else, really. I could potentially get a Nidorina. So I could throw a Lightning Energy on Nidoran. He could have an Energy Removal. I kind of want to hang on to that just to be safe. Let's Thunder Wave and knock this out. Yes, we're going to get rid of this Lapras. Lapras is such a monster. He was building this monster up in the back on his bench. But now he, uh, he doesn't really have that opportunity. And we have our Magneton. Our Magneton can just wreak havoc. Yeah, and it's going to Oko this thing. At least he has another Mon on the bench. But Oh, he could Smoke Screen. No, he could Smoke Screen his way to victory. For those of you that don't know, smoke screen means every single turn, it's a 50-50 as to whether or not I actually get my attack off. Which is, you know, less than ideal, but it is what it is. We'll play Pikachu on the bench and go for... and use Bill so we get as many cards as we can. We got another Bill, so of course we'll use another Bill. And I don't think we need to attach any more energies to our Magneton, so I'm going to throw this on Pikachu for the time being. I was hoping we'd get an Abra so we can start building up our Kadabra in the back, but... But alas, we're getting hacked. Very much hacked. We just need to land one T wave on this. Just one T wave on this, and it's gone. Of course, then he could just bring in another horsey and uh, <laughs> go for the same strat, but come on. Darn it! No! <laughs> when you hacks your way to victory. We need to get a thunder wave off, guys. Guys, this is not okay. We need a Thunder Wave. At the very worst, I can build up my Pikachu in the back so that it can Thunder Jolt something, whatever it wants to come in. And Oko it, but... Come on, please, please, please. Yes, finally get the Thunder Wave off. That said, um, whatever comes in is probably... Actually, might be able to KO us. It depends on what it is. If he gets a Cloister, he could KO us. But otherwise, another horsey would not be able to KO us. Okay, so here's the next horsey. I mean, of course, this is horsey. It does have a smoke screen. Oh, no. Oh, no, and there's the cloister in the back. The cloister can do it. Now, if we get this 50-50 next turn, that'll be the game. So let's, let's hope we manage to get this heads. Let's see here. Is there anything else we want to throw in there? I mean, we can add a Pikachu to the bench, of course. Grass energy, we can attach that to Nidoran. 
A Thunder Wave. Come on, get the heads. Darn it. Darn it, this Magneton. <sighs> Getting 1v1 by these horsies. I mean, really, technically a 2v1, I guess, but... You see how powerful status is in trading card game. Smokescreen, able to just absolutely destroy us. But, regardless, we will go into our Pikachu here. And I think between our Nidoran and Pikachu, and we got Nidorina, nice. So we'll level that up. We can throw another Grass Energy on Nidorina. That'll be fine. And we can Thunder Jolt here and knock this out. Actually, worst case scenario. <laughs> and I get the effectiveness wrong. We're going to KO this, so... Okay, we do damage to ourselves, but 30 plus 10, worst case scenario. It was, you know, super effective anyways, but... Okay. And that should be GG Joshua. Good game, Joshua. Joshua, a very formidable opponent, but we managed to... I don't know. Clench victory. What? How could I lose? Oh, let's see what cards we got. We got a Nidoqueen. Queen. Nice. We got another one. That's good. Ride on, lick a tongue. Omastar. star. Ooh, so now we can actually do something potentially with these mysterious fossils. Oh, and we got the Omanite too. So that's a potential line we could have. I don't know how good those cards are though. Tauros. Tauros is pretty good too. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 damage plus 10 more damage. If tails, this attack does 20 damage. Yo, this is good. I think Tauros is good. We might want to throw that in our deck. Especially because it only requires like Omni, or like colorless, or basically like nothing, right? Any sort of energy. Mr. Fuji, choose a Pokemon on your bench, shuffle it in, and any cards attached to it into your deck. Interesting, so you could essentially recycle energies and stuff. Huh, pretty cool. Don't think you're that good just because you defeated me. We still have Amy here at the Water Club. Amy, please wake up. Huh? What's going on? I was enjoying my little nap. Well, um... Pss, pss, pss. What? You lost? How could you? <laughs> was it Nick? I will be your next opponent. I, Amy, the master of the water club. Would you like to duel Amy? Ooh... Not just yet. No, how boring. I was looking forward to a game of Pokemon trading cards. What I want to do first is I want to throw that at Tauros in the deck, actually. Let's see here. I think we have Rattata and Raticate. I might just end up taking out... What do I want to take out? Do I want to take out one of these Abras, probably, and throw Tauros in there? Because, like, Tauros is looking really clean. Yeah, I like that for now. We'll save this. And then we will battle Amy. Of course, though, that is going to be in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. We had three pretty difficult opponents. We redeemed ourselves. We ended up defeating Joshua. And now we're going up against... Amy for our second master medal. Hopefully claim victory over the water, uh, what's it called? The water club. And yeah, see how much of a threat she poses. And then we can go on to the next club. I, uh, you know, this game's plot is not like super complex, right? You know, it's not like you don't know exactly what's gonna happen. You don't know, uh, or it's not like you don't know exactly where we can go next and what's gonna happen. But it is fun, it's good to enjoy, and like, I hope you guys are at least enjoying the battles, you know. It's it's fun to see what can happen, it's fun to see how the sweeps go on. Because it's so luck-based at times, it can be exciting to see what happens. And again, just enjoying this old game, this, you know, often forgotten Pokemon game, and the Pokemon cards that I held so close to my heart when I was a kid. Just kind of looking back on it all and enjoying it. I hope you guys are having a similar experience, and if you are, be sure to let me know. Be sure to let me know in the comments section. And with that, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.